in this video i'm going to discuss about cyclotron this is also particle accelerator okay now let us see construction of cyclotron that is it consists of a two semicircular metal boxes let us denote these two by d1 and d2 that is these two are hollow semicircular metal boxes d1 and d2 are hollow semicircular metal boxes or simply we call these two as a d's okay and these two d's are connected to high frequency oscillator that is it is connected to radio frequency oscillator and this complete setup is enclosed in that is it is enclosed in vacuum chamber this is the vacuum chamber and one more thing and this complete setup is placed between two magnetic poles one is south pole and another one is north pole here n s r magnetic poles and here in between two d's a ion source is placed and let us denote it by i here i is the ion source which produces ions okay once again let us see construction of cyclotron that is it consists of two hollow semicircular metal boxes or we call it as a d's which are connected to the high frequency oscillator and in between two d's a ion source is placed and these d's are enclosed in the vacuum chamber and this complete setup is placed in between the magnetic poles this is this is all about construction of cyclotron okay now let us see working of cyclotron that is here i am going to consider two hollow semicircular metal boxes or simply we call it as a d's it is t1 and this is the t2 and here we have connected these two d's to the high frequency oscillator this is a high frequency oscillator here and a ion source is placed in between the two d's in here the ion source produces a positive charge and from high frequency oscillator a negative potential is given to the d2 and a positive potential is given to the d1 initially and here a electric field is developed between positive to negative and this positive charge moves in the direction of electric field that is this positive charge moves in the direction of electric field that is here this charge moves towards the d2 and it moves with the velocity v0 and when it enters into the d2 here this d2 is the hollow semicircular metal box so inside this metal box the electric field is the electric field is zero so here 
the positive ion moves with the constant velocity and here we have placed here we have placed two magnetic poles and these magnetic poles produces magnetic field and this magnetic field is perpendicular to the these two d's and because of this when the positive ion moving inside the d2 because of the magnetic field it bends slightly and it changes it, its direction because of the magnetic field and when it enters at the end of the d2 here the potential is reversed with the help of high frequency oscillator that is a negative potential is given to the d1 and a positive potential is given to the d2 and here same the electric field is developed from positive to negative and this positive ion is attracted towards the the positive ion moves in the direction of electric field and this positive ion is accelerated towards d1 and when it enters into the d1 here it is the hollow semicircular metal box because of this inside d1 electric field is zero and because of this the positive ion moves with the constant velocity inside d1 and because of the magnetic field which is perpendicular to the these two d's here the positive ion changes its path and here this positive ion is moving with higher velocity as compared to the previous one and again here same when it enters near to the d1 end here again the potential is reversed that is a positive potential is given to the d1 and a negative potential is given to the d2 and because of this this positive ion is accelerated in between this gap and it moves with constant velocity inside d2 and here we can observe that the radius is increased because of its high velocity and when it enters into the d2 and it moves with the constant velocity and again here due to the magnetic field again it takes again this positive ion bends and it enters at the end of the d2 and again here also same the potential is reversed and this positive ion accelerated with higher velocity as compared to the previous one and this process continues and every time its radius is increasing and also a velocity is increasing and finally this positive ion it comes with the very high velocity and this positive ion is made to incident on the target and here the positive ion is having a very high velocity okay this is all about working of the cyclotron